Well, uh, what's the next question? Let's see now. Where did we leave off? Oh, yes, number four. Number four. Who said, give me liberty or give me death? I already got that answer written down. Uh, Lem Butler. Oh, Lem Butler didn't say it? Well, that's all right. We can get him to say it, can't we? Save looking it up. Yeah, so ain't a bad idea at that. All right, number five. What is an isthmus? Uh, just a second while I put it down. Mm. A long, dirty neck stretching out to see something. Yes. Number six, where's copper found? That's easy, uh, in pennies. Yes, put it down. Number seven, what comes in quartz? Milk. Mm-hmm. Number eight, what is lead? A uh, horse. Shucks, ain't nothing to these darn things, is they? No. You think Hector could answer himself? Yeah, but Hector ain't got the education that we got, Zeb. Yeah, that's a fact. That's why I sort of wanted to get him into the academy, so he can learn something. Now, let's see now, what was that last number? Uh, number eight. Oh, yes, number nine. What animal loses its skin? Hmm, what loses its skin, huh? That's kind of a hard one. Oh, shucks, nothing to that one. Uh, bananas. Bing has never thought of that. Well, number ten, what was Custer's last battle? Uh, the one he got killed in, of course. That's right. Put it down. You got it? Yes. Yeah, I got it. Uh, what comes next? Hmm, this, uh, this one's a sort of funny one. It says, um, says uh, tell in your own words some well-known historical anecdote. Oh, uh, sure. Nothing to that one, neither. You can borrow Mrs. Snyder's. She's got one. How do you mean? Got one what? A uh, well-known nanny goat. Oh, but she ain't. She ain't. It, it, it ain't a well-known nanny goat. It's, Don't it's... say it's well-known. On a warm day, you know it halfway across the town. Yes, but it ain't nanny goat. It's, it's anecdote. That's an, uh, uh, well, a kind of story. Huh. What's the good of telling a story to an nanny goat? Now, Eb, there you go again, getting all twisted. You don't tell no story to a nanny goat. You just tell it. For instance... Take the story of Daniel Boom. Uh, who? Boom. The story of Boom. I reckon you mean the song. I don't know. That. I mean the story. It ain't a song. It's a story. It is a song. A song is I fall down and go boom. Oh, it taint. Daniel Boom was a feller. Uh, one of these here now big shots. That's why it was called Boom. That was the name the Indians gave him. He used to trade with them. Uh, trade names? No, I mean he used to sell the Indians things. And they used to pay them and wamp them. Well, How's and that? I say they used to pay them and wamp them. So, that um, darn dirty trick, if you ask me. Huh? Dirty trick? What are you talking about? What's a dirty trick? To pay a feller and then wamp them. I didn't say they wamped them. You did. I didn't. Yeah. I said wamp them. That burn it? That's money. Indian money. Never mind now. Well, the chief of the Indians was sitting bull. And one day, Daniel Boom come up to where he was standing and... I thought and, you said he was sitting. He was, but but he was standing. Now, and, hold on, hold on. What was he, sitting or standing? He was sitting, sitting. Yeah, well, all right. Only he was standing. Oh, shucks. Yeah. Never mind, I don't want to hear any more about it. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Deb. The chief's name was sitting and... His name was sitting and he was standing. Huh? Yes. You're crazy, Zeb. You're crazy. I ain't, I ain't crazy. You tell you, I know exactly what I'm talking about. That was the chief's name, Sitting Bull. Sitting Bull. But he was standing up when Daniel Boom come up to him. All right, all right. Well, go ahead. Tire a fella out, you do. Well, actually, this chief had a daughter. That darn swell-looking gal, too. And her name was... Um... I know what it was. I know what it was. Yes, well, what was it? Uh, sitting pretty. Oh, it wasn't. It, it was Pocahontas, that's what it was. Standing or sitting? Either way, either... The reason her father was called Sitting Bull was because... Um, um, well, because he was a matador. A what? A, a matador. Matador. That's one of these here fellers that uh, gets paid big money for throwing the bull. Oh, you mean he was a salesman? Oh, what's the use of trying to tell you anything? Come on, let's finish up these questions. See here now. Um, 10, 11, uh, next one's 12. Well, what is it? Number 12. Prior to the discovery of America, what was the general belief as to the shape of the earth? Uh, what's that again? What shape of the earth? Dang if I know. I ain't been around much. Why, yeah, you know what shape the earth is? What kind of cuff buttons do I wear? Uh, square. Yes, I know I do on weekdays, but what kind do I wear on Sundays? They're round, ain't they? 
Oh, I get you. I get you, yeah. Yes. Well, then, what shapes the earth? Uh, square on weekdays and round on Sundays. 